So question nine is about um, a sector. It's obviously is talking about sector. So before we really start the question, I'll start with some notes. For a sector, uh, this is center, original, it is a circle, it's part of the circle. And then this is the radius. And then there are two things we learn. The first one is about the arc length. We call arc AB. The notation is like this. It's talking about the whole circle length. That means 2 pi r. The diameter times pi. But we don't have the full circle. We just have among 360 degrees. We just got theta out of it. So divide by 360 units. And then we got theta out of 360 units. So that's the um, formula for the arc length AB. Similar reason, if we want the area of sector, uh, this is called o, OAB, then we use the area of the whole circle, pi r squared. This is what we learned in primary school. Again, we don't have the full circle. Instead, we divide by 360 degrees and then we get theta from it. So that's the formula for the arc length and the area. Which one to use is based on the question, which one is given or which one we need to find out. So uh, don't forget your limitation is handled the sector. Don't consider this shape directly, but always find out this is a part of sector. Okay. Uh, OABC, this is a semicircle, half of a circle. The radius of this sector is 40 cm. So this is 40 cm. Uh, very straightforward is this is 40 cm also. Because they say this one is a sector, that means this is radius and this is radius also. At the same time, that means they tell you that the small r, the radius of this semicircle is half of it, 20 and 20. After that, the angle at center is 144 degree. Find the param parameter and the area of the shaded region. So uh, if we talk about parameter, that means the total length of the outline. There are three lines. Okay, one line, two line, three line. So to find out the parameter, Uh, I want to emphasize that you should analyze the question logically. We have this length, A, D, B, A, D, O. And then we have uh, us, A, B, C. And then also we have this line. Okay, the first line, the second line, the third line. The third one is straightforward, it's just simply 40. And then the first one, this is a semicircle with radius 20. This is a sector with radius 40 and the angle 144 degree. So we are going to calculate this one by one. It is 2 pi r. The R here is 20, and then it's just half of a circle, so 1 over 2. We got 20 pi. Uh, we simplify the first part. The second part, this is 2 pi R. The radius here is 40 instead of 20. And then we got 360 pieces, we just got 144 out of it. So use your calculator and then this is 144 divided by 360 times 80. We got 32 pi. And then plus 40. No need to calculate, it's a straight line. Uh, they say in terms of pi, that means you don't need to use calculator to times 3.14 something. You just need to add them together. 52 pi plus 40. With pi, without pi, they're not like terms, you're not going to add them together. CM. So this is the parameter. To get the area, we use the similar logic. The area 
of the shader region. Okay, I draw the shape. It's like this. We are talking about the shape. That means we have a larger paper. And then I cut out this semicircle part. I cut out this part. So again, 40 and then 144 degree. Focus here first. If we use the area, we use area formula. So pi r square. R here is 40. And then again, we don't have the complete circle. It is our 360 degree. We got 144 from it only. So 144 divided by 360. And then time 40 square. We got 640. 640 pi. And then minus, uh, don't forget the radius here is 20, so it is pi r square, and then it's just half. So it's 200 pi. That's why the answer is 440 pi cm square. Then we already finished and get five marks here. So uh, two tips. First, uh, about area and volume. You must memorize all the formula and the best scenario is you understand how come we have those formula. Second thing is you need to think logically like this. Break down what you need to do and then just finish it part by part. Even if you make some careless mistake or conceptual mistake, uh, I can still easily give you the method marks. And then if you draw like this, feel free to draw like this in your exam paper. It gives you guidelines, outline how you should uh, finish your question.